Hey, bud. We're going to talk about snowball thinking today because it's one of my brain's favorite ways to keep me from taking action or making decisions. So if you can relate, stay tuned. So there are three things I want you to do if your brain is doing this thing where it doesn't let you think of one thing without totally catastrophizing it and presenting you with 19 other problems to solve immediately and assume you're just going to die and you should probably not make any decisions or take any action. The first thing I want you to do is get super clear on what even you are thinking of doing. Our brains, us snowballers, will take a thought like, I want to make more money and turn it into a giant set of unsolvable problems, unclimbable mountains. But make more money is not an action that you can take. So already you're keeping yourself stuck by not getting super specific about what even there is for your brain to noodle on. So the first thing I want you to do is clarify what you are even considering. If you want to make more money, what actions might you consider taking to do that? The second thing I want you to do once you get clear on what you're thinking about is create a fears and facts list. It's going to be super fun for us list makers too. Snowball thinkers tend to be list makers. You don't have to be one to do this though. First, I want you to write down everything that your brain freaks out about once you've said, I think I want to create a product to sell or sell my art. I have a lot of artist clients. So I think I want to try selling my art to make more money. That's an action you can take, right? Your brain is instantly going to have a ton of fears and they're going to present in the form of the snowballer rhetoric, which is what if this happens? This is never going to work. This is probably going to fail and catch on fire. So write all that down. Just like let your brain do what it's going to do. Show it let it show you your thinking and write it down and make sure you put all of those thoughts in the fears column. Now, I have clients all the time try to get away with passing fears off as facts. It's not possible for me to make more money in this industry is a sentence that I've heard more than once. And this is why people hire me, right? Because they know that bullshit isn't like helping them. So they, they want it called out. So you have to be that coach for yourself, right? You need to keep yourself honest and look at, is my brain presenting this thought, this fear as a fact? Is it worth questioning? Because your brain is going to try to defend its facts all day long, but they ain't helping you make more money or do what you say you want to do. So put all of those things in the fears column and then respond to each fear with some facts. If one of the fears you have around trying to sell your art to make more money is that somehow you will end up losing all of your money. You're going to spend too much money on like creating a website and like advertising and whatever, and you're going to lose all your money. So that's a snowball thought, right? It skips straight to the catastrophized end of a set of scenarios. So respond to that fear with some facts. Is it even possible for you to lose all your money? Do you have access to all of your money? How would this happen? If it did happen, how would you solve that problem? We need to not stop at the first sign of fear. Otherwise, we keep ourselves in inaction by constantly butting up the fears that we run into at the boundary of our comfort zone. I need to stitch that on a pillow. Okay, the final step is now that you've gotten clear on the action you're considering taking and the fears and facts involved in such made up scenario, you gotta get clear on the decisions in the room. Snowball thinking wants you to freak out and stress about a bunch of decisions that are not in the room with you. Decisions that it is not even in your capacity to make currently, right? You know what I'm talking about. Like I have a client who 
at one point in selling her art, she started getting worried about what if I get too many offers and what if I like get take on too much work and then my schedule gets messed up and then da 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 da. Like all of this stress when none of those decisions were in the room. That was a made up scenario that she was like 10 steps away from. Which, by the way, if she were in that scenario and she had more work than she could handle, that's like a problem that future her could solve with a plum, mind you. But it was not in the room. So now that you have a bunch of fears that you're aware of and a bunch of facts to respond to them and like kind of cool that fire down, look at what decision is actually in front of me. If I want to take this action, if I want to sell my art to make more money, or if I want to set up an informational interview with someone to learn more about their job, to see if I'm interested in changing my job to that job, whatever the action is that you're considering taking, what are the decisions in the room with you that would move you towards that action? Setting up a website, calling a friend and asking if they want to buy the painting that they comment on every time they come to your house. Like, what actually can you decide to do that is not whatever your snowball brain is freaking out about? This will let you take one step at a time and start doing what you say you want to do with more ease and less drama. So much fun. Okay, enjoy. I hope this helps. I'll talk soon. Bye!